My hair is in that awkward growing phase. I go from Ariel to Lord Farquaad. What's going on, you guys? It's your Huggable Hipster here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very interesting video. It was very last minute only because I just rewrote it in the schedule a couple of nights ago. We are going to be going over the five most useless rings you could possibly have in your inventory in Souls games. This is about to trigger a few people and I'm here for it. What's interesting is, is that a lot of these rings philosophically and story-wise, they are bountiful with information. They're so amazingly written and the, the, the information within them is great for like a Soulsborne Academy or a psychologically gaming, but we're not doing that today. <laughs> no, 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 no. I thought this would be kind of a fun topic to go over. So let's dive into it. So let's go over the top five most useless rings in Souls games. And just keep in mind, this is my personal opinion. And if you disagree with me, that is perfectly fine. Just don't act like a dick in the comments. The first ring on the list is the Rusted Iron Ring from Dark Souls and Dark Souls Remastered. Now, this removes the movement speed penalty when traveling in deep water or a marsh. And I found this incredibly useless because you can just roll right through where you're going. Now, this is supposed to be helpful in swampy areas, especially in Blight Town, when you can barely like you're kind of like wading through water. Um, and this this ring, I, I never found helpful. I actually just went through the motions of going slow because uh, I think it depends on the build heavily as well. That's another thing I want to preface this with. All of the rings that I'm mentioning just didn't work for the build that I was going for. And at the end of the day, everyone is going to have a different build in a Souls game. This is also supposed to help your balance. Balance. If I remember, I, I read somewhere that this was supposed to help your balance and your footing in and Orlando, especially when you're going up the rafters. Uh, but this is, uh, did absolutely nothing for me at all whatsoever. The Ring of Favor and Protection. This one irritated me because it's a good ring. It's actually a decent ring, but once you remove it, it breaks. How is that helpful? And I also forgot to mention, it increases your HP, stamina, and equipment load by 20%. And not just not just 20%, by the whole 20% each. So HP is increased by 20%, your stamina is increased by 20%, your equipment load increased by 20%. And also, just a tidbit where you can get this ring, it's dropped by Lutric after you kill him, which I believe he is in uh, the Firelink Shrine. You go down, you want to kill that guy anyway, he's no good. So yeah, it's a great ring. I just hate that it breaks after you take it off, because what if you go and you have to switch around your rings and you forget that it breaks after you remove it you won't be able to use that ring again i did that mistake when i was playing dark souls for the first time and i felt like crepolio tiny beings ring i don't know why i said it like that <laughs> this is one that's also found in dark souls and dark souls remastered this increases the hp by five percent doesn't really make that much of a difference so i mean you know i you know i saw it in the game i was like oh you know this is pretty cool, but it really did absolutely nothing for me. I mean, you know, you, you can select this as your starting gift whenever you're starting in Dark Souls, but I, you know, it's it's okay. It's really not that big of a deal. You can also get it after defeating the Silver Knights in and Orlando. So if you really wanted this ring, you could easily get it again. Now this ring could be really well utilized if done with other rings because it's stackable. So I, you know, I believe that it could be used in the right way. I just didn't know that at the time when I was first playing Dark Souls. So might try that again with the same ring and I'll get back to you guys. The next ring is the Speckled Stone Plate Ring. Now, in theory, this ring is pretty cool because it increases your magic and fire and lightning and dark absorption. But 5 to 7% resistance really isn't that much. I mean, at least for me, because whenever I go for a build, I'm either going strength decks, decks, or magic decks. So I, I don't know. For me, it's not, it's not really, it doesn't really do much, at least. <laughs> and finally, the most useless ring I have ever come across and used in a Souls game. The Ring of the Dead. This is this is a, a, a just a, a slap in the face. Like, what? like, okay, so I go into this tower, this beautiful looking tower in Dark Souls 2. I'm greeted with a Silent Hill-esque looking monster with a keyhole for a face. I put key in face, unlock, and I see a little, I see a, 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 a lady in a jail area, a birdcage, if you will. She disappears. She's like, oh, you set me free, woo! And all I get for that was a ring that changes my appearance back to that of a human. That's all it does. 
It's not like it has this kind of power to be able to go into, you know, PvP or anything like that. There's no real substantial power with it. And philosophically, in the description that it has with it is really, really cool. But other than that, it's completely useless. I put that as number one because I, I am currently at the end of Dark Souls 2 right now. And I just acquired that ring. And it, I thought that when you went into that cage, there would be like an elevator to take you up to like a secret boss or something. But no, it's just to get a useless ring. Literally, all it does is keep your human appearance while hollow. That's it. I mean, I swear, this ring was more useless than the rusted iron ring. I just don't understand. Like, this is my own personal gripe with the Live Souls games, is why they put rings in there for purely aesthetic reasons. Let them have some use to it. I want to be able to cause emotional damage to my foes. I want to cause so much harm to these bosses in these video games that their therapist needs a therapist. Listen, if you want to catfish people in the game of Dark Souls, this ring is the way to do it. But you guys, that was today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you guys like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell down below. I make videos every weekday here on YouTube. May you find your worth in the waking world, dear hunter. Stay casually nerdy, and I will see you all in the next video. Umbasa.